Hey guys, it's Jim, and I just wanted to do a quick real-life uh, situation of how I used OpenVBX uh, Twimlets, Twimlebin, uh, to solve a problem. So I used a, a number of things uh, inside Twilio to solve this problem. What we did, we had a client who was using a temporary location of a hotel. Here's the hotel right here. So calls were coming in, and they were forwarding them right to the hotel. The problem was that they didn't have control over any voicemail. They couldn't get messages because if nobody picked up or if they weren't there, the hotel directory would pick that up and, and they would lose control of that call, lose control of the lead, basically. So what I suggested is we send it over to Twilio. We do what we want with it. Uh, we interact with the hotel phone number uh, as well. And let me show you how I did that. The first thing you want to do is get a phone number and you're going to, uh, you're going to dial... Um, the calls are going to come in and forward to the Twilio number. Okay, so going back here, uh, rather than go right to the hotel, we're going to forward this to the Twilio number. We're not going to get rid of our client phone number and give them a Twilio number. We're just going to seamlessly forward it to Twilio. Once we get there, what I needed to do is set a timeout, a, a timeout which was four rings. If nobody at that location at that hotel picked up, my client didn't pick up, it would be redirected. And so here's the number you want the Twilio number to call, which is the hotel. If they didn't pick up, what I did was I redirected it to a uh, open VBX flow. So here's your site.com and here's uh, the, the URL of your flow. And let me show you where to find that. When you start a, a flow in open VBX, you'll see the view Twimmel. If you click on that, you're going to go to the URL of that. And then you just paste it right there. Okay, so what I had it do was I had it uh, do a greeting. They gave me a greeting to record, and I recorded a greeting. Um, so I played recording, and then what I did was I asked them, if you'd like to leave us a voicemail message, we happen to get back to you. Then what I did was I transferred it to a Twimlet. And I went to twimlets.com. Right here, here's voicemail. You put in your email address, the message that you want the voicemail to say and then whether you want to transcribe it true or false. Okay, I, I did transcribe it. And then you take that URL and you paste it right there, redirect to, to URL. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, they may not want to leave a voicemail message. I figured that they may want to just get some information. Um, times that they're open and things like that, they're available the location of the of the business or the new temporary location. So what I did was I have it do a greeting and I had it send, if you'd like the information sent to your cell phone, we'll send that as a text and I had it send as an SMS. So you can see that it solves the problem of, of basically intercepting that call and um, using OpenVBX we can get that over, control the call, so if we go back Here's where all the action happens, and really it, it, it dials the, the hotel first, but if nothing happens, everything happens back here uh, at the Twilio locate, um, the, on the Twilio server. So I can control those calls now rather than the hotel getting the, um, the, the calls. So I hope that makes sense to you. So this was a combination of Twimlets, Twimmelbin, and OpenVBX to solve a really a simple problem but there was some kinks in there that we needed to work out and it works perfectly and the client is very happy so uh, use your imagination on this I'm sure you can think of many more uses of combining those three but especially uh, if you learn anything from this know that you can redirect into a open VBX flow so you can do whatever you want here and then if you want tons more functionality get that thing over to get that call over to open VBX and uh, you can do all sorts of things so hope that helps and I'll talk to you soon